G'day, it's Robbie Regain. Well, here she is, she's all complete. And the blue paint looks pretty snazzy, I reckon. This is some paint I had left over from the, the workbench. So I'm gonna call this one the Blue Devil because it's been a devil of a job <laughs> getting the bugs out of it, but we seem to have got there eventually. And it runs quite good. You can see I've made up a, a metho pot for it. A little brass spout on it. Even knurled the, the lid. That's about half as big again as the one on the other Stirling engine I've made. And uh, yeah, turned out good in the end. I'm quite pleased with it. The, the Jarrah wood looks beautiful. This was some Jarrah bench top that somebody threw out. I mean, this is very expensive to buy these days. And years ago, it used to be just knockabout wood. Now, nobody gave it much yard room, but now it's highly desirable because, you know, it finishes and comes up beautifully. It's, it, it's getting expensive. Right, I suppose put some metal in it and give it a go, eh? Let it warm up a little bit. Now yeah, she's away. Bit of oil there doesn't just lubricate. It also helps seal that shaft. It, uh, yeah, it runs good with a little bit of oil in there. So there you go, guys. Pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool.
So there you go guys, mission complete. It just shows that if you stick with it, persist, you get there eventually. And I mean there's something satisfying about building up your own design using your own materials, home cast aluminium, using whatever you've got and taking an approach that's a little bit unique, CPU cooler, dash pot. There's something Heath Robinson about this, but that's what makes them so interesting, so much more satisfying than just go and buy one that's already built up or as a kit, or build someone else's plans. If you could do your own thing, from the, take it from the beginning to the end, and if it runs, and they don't always run, I think you've achieved something. When you consider this is all done with a cheap little Chinese lathe in a basic workshop, yeah, it just shows that the sort of precision you can get with those units, despite what some people like to say about them. So there you go, guys. If you've got a, if you've got a small lathe and think about something to do with it, this is the ideal situation. You can spend countless hours, days, building up something like this and at the end you can say you know well yeah i made that and it runs and yeah i'm pretty pleased with that okay that's it for now probably the next video will be on my next project which is likely to be a flame liquor engine well that's the next engine related video anyway so if i don't see you before uh, christmas i'll have a happy christmas and i'll get back at some stage and do some more videos. Okay, that's it for now. See you next time. Cheers.